Hey friends, welcome and welcome back. So today I wanted to show you how I use hot oil treatments before I shampoo my hair. And yes, I had it in a dry, crusty bun for about a week. <laughs> um, so I'm sectioning my hair off into two halves as always. And I'm going to be using um, raw sesame oil. What I did was I boiled some water and I placed the oil in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes to let it heat up and it's nice and warm so I'm just going to massage that into my scalp. So although I'm not doing heavy detangling at this stage, I do like to make sure my hair is slightly detangled and I focus the oil on my ends after I'm finished massaging into my scalp. And then I put up a section and put a plastic bag once I've finished with both sections. So after this I let it sit for about half an hour. I covered my hair with a t-shirt just to keep in some heat and I'm going to take out both sections and rinse my hair out. So here my hair is thoroughly rinsed. If I'm looking for a heavier sort of wash on my hair, if I have some sort of product buildup, I like to use bar soap. It's always going to be a natural bar soap and it's the same soap I use on my body. So always read the ingredients, make sure you know exactly what you're putting in your hair. So I found that washing my hair in a downward motion and trying to go with the coil of my hair really helps to minimize tangling during shampooing. I've also found that natural shampoos seem to take the dye out of my hair a little bit faster and frankly I don't mind that too much because I prefer to have healthy hair than longer lasting dyed hair. I'm definitely someone who washes the length of my hair. I tried just letting the soap run down my strands back in like 2017 and that was causing me so much buildup. So yeah, definitely I wash all the way down my hair.
Now here I'm just making sure my hair is a little more damp because the left side dried out a little bit. After I've rinsed my hair out, I like to take a microfiber towel and blot out a bit of that water just so that my shea butter can soak in a little better and also I find it easier to detangle my hair if it's not soaking wet. What I'm doing now is sectioning my hair into three or four sections and today I'm using some drummy oil. I like to moisturize my scalp with that and I run it down the length of my hair as well and get some on my ends. And I find that using oil and water helps me detangle my hair. After I detangle, I'm going to put some shea butter in. It's the same mix that I used in my Ambunu video. I'll link that in the description.
and here I'm all finished. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!